This screencast explains the process of examining the subconstruct of data sharing. And data sharing is one of two subconstructs under the heading of collaboration, the other being conversation itself. We're going to examine what data sharing means and what it actually does in terms of mobile learning. So if we go back to the framework, here we've got the three elements of the framework disaggregated, and we're going to focus just on the collaborative element. And one way of thinking about this is to imagine that each of the subconstructs is measured over a continuum or along a continuum. And this one is focusing on data sharing, part of the collaboration construct. And at one end, evidence for its use with mobile technologies would be rather weak. And at the other end, the right-hand side, evidence would be strong. So we've put terms to these uh, continua. And one end we've called consumption. And the other end we've called production and sharing. And to illustrate what this means and what it looks like with mobile technologies, I'm going to show you a few apps and applications. So, for example, at the consumption end, typically students might be using their device to access the internet, to research, to watch movies, perhaps to listen to audio podcasts, and of course, increasingly, to read, read digital books, digital magazines and text on their mobile device. Those are all very good uses of a mobile device, and they're all examples of consuming. Now, increasingly, what mobile technologies allow us to do is not simply to consume, but also to produce. And so we see apps like iMovie, um, apps like animation apps, this is Puppet Pals, and also apps like iBook Author, Book Creator, that allow students to create and be producers rather than simply consumers. Now, the critical element here is probably not just the production, but it's the ability to use their mobile device to share what they've produced and to get feedback from other users, other learners, other experts. And this is increasingly how teachers are beginning to recognize the wider role of mobile learning in supporting learning beyond the classroom. And of course, these are not intended to be binaries. It's not intended that at one end, uh, one end is better or, or, or one end is worse. In actual fact, it's quite possible that students will move along this continuum. And a good example might be an app like Twitter, because at one level, Twitter is simply a consumption tool. Students consume information, they receive tweets. But if students become owners of Twitter and they actually start to make their own tweets, they start to tweet about their activities, their learning journey and so on, then they become producers. And of course, by its very nature, with Twitter, they're bound to be sharing that and gaining feedback. So what we're looking at in this subconstruct is the ability of learners to both produce and to share their, their learning and examples of their learning mediated through the mobile device.